Twitter drawing G Lo's entire career following her cringe and narcissistic new album, Maria Carey tried to tell us. Jennifer Garner isn't the only one with a negative reaction to Jennifer Lopez's This Is Me Now album, as the internet appears to be turning on the 54 year old multi heffinet in ways we don't think she could have ever predicted. There appear to have been mixed reviews for the highly anticipated new album, which the 13 Going On 30 star described as cringe and embarrassing. And sadly for G Lo, more negative than positive reactions to the accompanying Amazon Prime film, as Ben Affleck feared when he was getting involved in the project. The On the Floor Singers Tour has also received some less than satisfactory ticket sales, forcing her to actually rebrand it as a greatest hits tour to try and win back some of her fans. All of these setbacks will undoubtedly be hard for the J Lo beauty mogul, but this is only the tip of the iceberg, as she has found herself at the center of a lot of backlash because of these new projects. Keep reading to find out more details. The internet is turning on Jennifer Lopez following This Is Me, Now Projects. The Love Don't Cost a Thing singer has regularly been teased for saying she is from the Bronx and then being called out when certain things don't seem to add up. One example is her interview with Vogue back in 2022 for its popular 73 Questions feature, where she referenced that her go-to bodega order is a ham and cheese on a roll with an orange drink, adding, If you know, you know. As expected, the internet, which included many Bronx residents, didn't know and called her out for it. Fast forward two years and the backlash is continuing. G Lo releasing her This Is Me Now album video and tour has seemingly opened her up to more internet hate than ever before, with the internet thinking that she is killing her career. If you'll recall, she was accused of creative narcissism by entertainment journalist Hunter Harris in her popular newsletter, Hung Up. She wrote at the time, the documentary is 90 minutes of J-Lo speaking candidly and emotionally about the gargantuan effort it takes to, at every single moment, choose to be J-Lo. Lopez is not exceptional at singing or dancing or acting, but she is very exceptional at being Jennifer Lopez, and that is a separate unique talent. Jennifer Lopez's past is dug up. The On My Way singer's alleged narcissism is just the beginning, as the internet has dug up some other parts of her past that perhaps would have remained buried deep and never discovered had she not released her new album and accompanying film and tour. One of the things which has gotten the internet talking involves her music, more specifically, allegations that she stole music from other artists such as Ashanti and Natasha Ramos, to name just two. Formerly Twitter user Mitsakes2 highlighted some of the music which Lopez allegedly stole in an April 4th post. 1. Jenny from the Block, sung by Natasha Ramos. They kept her throughout the chorus and kept in her laugh and her saying, from the Bronx. The post read, 2. I'm Real Remix, sung by Ashanti. It was originally Ashanti's song and she made a demo for it. It was ultimately scrapped and given to G Lo, but Ashanti's demos can be heard throughout the song. The post continued. The ex user also mentioned Ride or Die, which was sung by Brandy. The song was originally meant for Brandy's album, but was then scrapped. G Lo then got a hold of it and failed to mask Brandy's vocals in the final version, the post read. The ex user also hilariously quipped in her own comment section, waiting for her seven fans to say I was paid by Maria to post this. 